What's up guys, Coach Javi here, and I just finished up a session, figured we'd do something a little different today. I'm gonna walk you through a shot that you may see from the likes of Arjun Robin, um, David Beckham, and some of those players that like to go for more of a curl instead of a power shot. It's kind of more a finesse trying to find that far corner. So it's more of a tutorial video, and I'm gonna walk you through it as I go. So I hope you guys like it, but you know it's not really a Coach Javi video, without a proper intro. Could we see him at some stage? That's the plan. Well, what about this? Half an hour to go. Hold on to your hats. It is the debut. The man who only signed three days ago. The 18-year-old. Doesn't look very happy about it. Takes off the captain's armband. Scowls. Shakes his head. But the aura remains. Nice breaks for Gamero, not quite. Ratu's uh, down injured, his first involvement. His first moment was a wanderer. He's entitled to go for it, that is very nasty indeed. Well, this could be the uh, shortest derby debut in history. Goodness me, that was a nasty one. What you want to focus on for this one is a lot more accuracy than power. If you can place it well, it should be out of the goalkeeper's reach. So when you strike through the ball, you can lean back just a little bit in order to give the ball a little bit of lift. And when your foot hits the ball, you want to kind of follow through off to the side of the ball instead of directly behind it. That way it'll give the ball a little bit of spin and cause it to curve right into that far corner. So for this type of shot guys, I'm using a combination of the inside of my foot and my laces just a little bit. The inside of my foot allows me to get a little bit more surface area and allows me to be able to curl that ball and the laces just kind of gives me a little bit more power. So I'm not completely going with the laces or completely going with the inside of the foot. It's a mixture of both and as you go along you can kind of see what works for you. But there is a sweet spot in the middle that's going to allow you to get the perfect amount of curl and some power so that you're able to beat the goalkeeper. I'm usually aiming a little bit past the far post. That way, if I hit it right, the ball should curl and kind of come back in and go pretty close to side netting by the post. So I'm actually aiming a little bit off of the goal instead of at the goal, just because I know it's supposed to curl and it's supposed to come back in. People ask me this all the time is, what can I do to make my weak foot better or just as good as my strong foot? The ultimate secret to this question is, there is no secret. There's no one thing that you can do to make your weak foot better, faster. All it takes is get the exact same amount of reps that you do with your strong foot with your weak foot. The more reps you get, the more comfortable you're gonna be with your weak foot. Don't think that there's one secret thing that you can do that's gonna help you. It's all about practice. Correct the technique, correct the form, get more comfortable, and eventually you're gonna be just as comfortable on your weak foot as you are on your strong foot. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm not as comfortable on my left foot as I am on my right. So what I'm doing is I'm taking away a little bit of power, not hitting it as hard, just so I can focus on the correct technique. As I start getting better and as I start feeling a little bit more comfortable, then I can put a little bit more power behind the ball. Just because I know that if I hit it as hard as I can, my technique just isn't gonna be as good as if I do it a little bit more controlled, a little bit slower, and then slowly I start building to where I can hit it just a little bit harder. So 
So I hope you guys liked the session. I know it's a little bit different, um, but if you did, make sure you hit that like button. That helps out a lot. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'm uploading videos almost every single day. And just make sure you comment any suggestions for the future. And um, I'll see you guys later.